Hey everyone, this is Grace from Kapwing and I've got some good news for creators. TikTok has finally started rolling out one of the most requested features of all time, which is auto captions. The feature will essentially transcribe what you're saying in your videos automatically and display them on the screen as captions, which is a huge win for making content more accessible and able to be heard and enjoyed by many people regardless of their hearing ability or whether the location you're watching in is noisy or not. Another big win is that you won't have to do this yourself. You won't have to spend so much time just typing out every single word you're saying in your videos to display on screen and timing out the text boxes, which can be so frustrating. So in this video, I'm going to show you where to exactly find the feature, how to use it. And to be honest, there are a bunch of limitations to it right now. So I'm also going to show you another way for adding captions automatically to any video and TikToks. To keep up to date with everything you need to know as a modern creator, make sure to hit that subscribe button and notifications bell. And also make sure to check out our Discord where you can talk to me in addition to all the other creators in this community. Now let's get started. So to add auto captions to your TikToks, first obviously go to TikTok, then you're gonna go and make a video like normal, the plus button at the very bottom. You're basically gonna hit that red button, record your video or upload your file from your photos. Then once you've recorded your video, click that red check mark button, get to that page where you can add things like text and music and the other filters and things. On the right side, there will be a little drop down arrow. Click that arrow and there should be a button that says captions. If you don't see that captions option yet, it's because TikTok is still rolling out this feature. Not everyone has it yet, so be patient. It'll probably get to you in the next couple of weeks or months. So click that captions button. It will immediately start uploading and processing the audio, and then it will display the captions for what you're saying. You can click that little pencil icon, and that will allow you to go in and edit the captions. So you can change words around, add in different words, and then you can play each section just to hear what it sounds like and write it out. So this is definitely a step up from having to type out all the text and time it out yourself. It basically does that part for you and then you just correct that. Once you're happy with them, you can click save and then save again. And in terms of how you can display the captions, there's not much customizability with this. You can basically only just move the, the captions up and down over the screen. You can see that there's like borders that you have to stick to, these uh, blue lines. And that's about it for actually changing how they appear on your video. You can't change the fonts or anything. It's literally just the location of the captions on the screen. When you're filming your video, you might want to also take note of this and think about beforehand where you're gonna put those captions and uh, arrange your composition of your video accordingly. Then once you are happy with your captions, click next, and then that's just the regular posting page where you can fill out your description and post your video. Now, this is how a viewer would see your video. The captions will show up where you place them on the screen. If you want to turn them off for a video, you can click the three dots and then there should be an option that says captions and then you'll be able to turn them off there. And it says that if you wanna turn off captions for all videos, you can go to your settings in the accessibility menu and change that. Another limitation is that this is basically like YouTube captions where when you're watching on YouTube, you can turn them on or off and have them display on the screen, but the captions aren't burned into the video file itself. If you download this video that you have captions on and go view it in your camera roll, the captions are gone, they're not there. So I know a lot of people like to take their TikToks and post them in other places, so in that case, you're going to have to either rely on typing out text or use another tool to auto caption your videos. And one option for that is using Kapwing. This is our online video editor. It's completely in the browser, so you don't have to download any apps. You can do it on your phone or computer or tablet, any device, because it just works on the internet. Just click the first link in the description below at the top of the description, then make a new project and you can just immediately upload your video. So you can either upload something from your files or you can just paste a link. So TikTok link or YouTube link will work. I'm just gonna go from my photo library and then that video will start loading into the editor. And then in the top bar, 
there will be a bunch of different options and one of them will say subtitles. Go all the way down, you can just click the auto generate button. Then you can choose your video language. If you want to transcribe into a different language, you can click this box and then choose the language you want the captions to be displayed in. So if your video like is spoken in English but you want the captions to show as Spanish, you can do that like this but I'm just gonna keep the transcription in English because I'm speaking English, and then just click the auto-generate button. After a few moments, your captions should be done. If you go to the bottom, you'll see that each line is associated with the text itself and then a set time. You can go into those lines and edit the words and you can also change the bar for how long you want the caption to stay on the screen. Then you can go up here and then there's different options for how the captions will actually appear. You can change the size, fonts, the background and colors. And then once you're happy with how they look, click the done button at the bottom. You'll go back to the main editor where you can add things like text, images, other audio like music or elements like a progress bar. And then once you're ready to download your video, click the red export video button. Your project will load for a few moments and then your video will be done. You can see that the captions are there and you can save your video by clicking the download button, then download again, go to the top right corner and then click your project and click the bottom left corner button and then click save video. And now that video will be in your camera roll. You can place it wherever you want, including TikTok, but also other places and the captions will be there in the exact format you wanted them to look. I hope this video was helpful. If you still have questions or any thoughts that you want to share, put them in the comments below. I'd be curious to hear how you guys think of this TikTok auto captions feature. Make sure to hit that subscribe button to stay up to date with everything you need to know as a modern creator and we'll see you in the next video.